<laughs> so, when I was a kid, my parents took me to this magical place called Science Works. And now, as an adult, I actually get to go and appreciate the scientific and amazing things that they do there. But... Damon, come on, we're all waiting for you. <laughs> Hurry up. I've got to Let's take go. this lot with me. Guys, seriously, do not slow me. I <sighs> should probably, wait, that doesn't sound right. Let me introduce these geezers. The ballerina, light on her feet and heavy on the smile. The gamer, cuts through code faster than you can say fruit ninja. The lion, don't let that smile fool you. Her bite is definitely bigger than her bark. The hammer, the god of lightning, and better looking than Chris Hemsworth. Okay, challenge for science works is that we need to come up with a single fact about whatever is in science works and the worst answer. A fact about panties? You can be a fact about whatever. So the worst answer has to empty the dishwasher tonight. Wait, who's going to be the judge? Of yeah, that's We'll question. all be the judge. We'll be the judge of each other's. All right, you have to be honest, okay? Okay, we're here. Let's get inside the frame. First stop, the Illuminate exhibition. Don't get me wrong, light is cool and everything, but this stuff is kind of wasted on these puny minds. I mean, how are these guys meant to understand that these subatomic photons are bouncing around creating electromagnetic energy? Or how the light bouncing off these mirrors is at different angles to create this distortion effect? Get out of the way. Anyway, as superior as I felt in here, uh, it was time to move on. Dave, what are you doing? Oh, this time. I'm just here. David. Uh, yeah, so it was time for some brain food, and uh, by that I mean coffee. And whilst my family talked about trivial and non-scientific things, I couldn't stop thinking about the main reason I wanted to come here. The Tesla coil. But it was time to move on to the next exhibition. Now, if the last exhibition was anything to go off, this one is gonna blow these kids' minds. But of course, being an electrician and a superior human being overall, I'm able to understand that every physical object has its own resonant frequency, or that the propagation of sound is directly linked to the motion of air molecules associated with it. In the end, it was all too much for their brains to handle, so they were just chilling out on these couches. <laughs> I've got this competition in the bag. All in all, I really like this exhibition, uh, but it was time to do some physical exercise. Sports worst exhibit was okay. Not a lot of brain cells used, which is probably why the kids are doing all right at this. I mean, it was mainly just a bunch of tiny humans pushing in. And whilst I'm on the subject of pushing, we are at the pumping station. That's right, Science Works is built right next to this old pumping station and still has live sewer running underneath it to this day. I mean, just look at them doing an upgrade to this site. Built back in the 1890s, it cost over $7 billion in today's money. I mean, just check out these old steam pumps. And just like everything else, in 1921, these things were replaced with electric induction motors. I mean, check out how deep this shaft goes. Naturally, the kids appreciated none of this, so they gave them an iPad with some AI thing to stoke fires and stuff. Pretty cool, I guess. After this, we had a bit of time to kill before the... Tesla coil. So we kind of went rogue. <laughs> the piece de resistance, the lightning room. Let's go. As I entered the room and saw the Tesla coil for the first time, I couldn't help but think that I'd been too harsh on my fellow human. After all, it wasn't all that long ago I was asking myself questions like, how is a Tesla coil actually constructed? What are the gases that make up the colors in a plasma globe? Or how a Jacob's Ladder is able to maintain those amazing high voltage arcs? Maybe I had been too harsh. I mean, isn't science about the art of discovery? Turning the unknown into the known? And hopefully doing it in a fun and playful way? 
So as the lights dimmed for what felt like a culmination of my YouTube journey thus far, I couldn't help but think about all those other YouTube legends that entertain and educate all in the name of science. This one's for you guys. Okay, so we finished up at Science Works. Did we all have fun, guys? Yeah! All right, our facts. Who has the first fact, Mum? A baby dragonfly, a nymph. A nymph. A nymph cannot ever meet an adult dragonfly. All right, Maple, you're up. What's yours? Um, Oakley, what's your fact? My fact was that all you needed was um, power and speed to make light and electricity work. So mine is uh, that Tesla coil could get up to 2.3 million volts. Million How volts. Think of that? Well, I don't care. Mine's the best, clearly. Okay, so. On three, we need to vote. Say the person you think is the worst fact. One, two, three. Dad! Dad. Mum. Huh? <laughs> that was not, I was not the worst. This is You're the worst. bull sh This is a setup. I easily had the best facts. You guys sucked. But, uh, at least I got my plasma wall. <laughs> yes.